Hello and welcome. My name is Trevor and this is the first of a series of training videos on fiber optics. I've had the privilege of working in the telecommunications industry for over 35 years. Over the course of my career, I've gained extensive experience with fiber optic technology and today I'm excited to share that knowledge with you. Whether you are a beginner or someone looking to deepen your understanding of fiber optics, you are in the right place. In this course, we'll explore what fiber optics are, how they work, the different types of fiber optic cables, the applications, and much more. Around the world today, in new and existing neighborhoods, you may see scenes like this. Workmen digging holes in lawns and running cables through trenches. Well, what you are experiencing is the dawn of the new era in telecommunications, where copper cables that have been used to connect our world for over 100 years are being replaced by a new cutting edge technology which is known as fiber optics. Let's start with the basics. Unlike traditional copper cables, fiber optics is the medium used to transmit light signals that carry data. This makes them faster and more efficient. In this diagram, figure one, shows the fiber optic cable's inner layers. The core is the central area of the fiber where light travels. Surrounding the core is a cladding, which reflects the light back into the core to prevent it from escaping. Finally, we have three layers of protective coating around the cable to shield it from physical damage. On top here, we have a pictorial view of a fiber optic cable. In the middle of the cable, we have the core. Surrounding the core is a cladding. They're both made of glass. The rest of the cable is just there for protection. We have three layers of protection. And the outer layer is called the outer jacket. This is there to protect the cable from external elements like rain or snow. Whenever light strikes the core cladding boundary at a certain angle, it reflects back into the core, allowing the signal to travel long distances without significant loss or interference. There are two types of fiber optic cables, single mode fiber and multi-mode fiber. Single mode fiber cable has a very small core and multi-mode fiber has a much larger core. The size of single mode fiber is between eight and 10 microns. Eight and 10 microns is the same as eight and 10 micrometers. Micrometers and microns is the same thing. Now, to give you an idea of how small this core really is, there are 10,000 micrometers and one centimeter. And between zero and one is one centimeter. And there are 10,000 micrometers right in here. The size of this core is between eight and 10 micrometers, which is the same as microns. To put this even further into perspective, the size of human hair is between 17 and 181 micrometers. The size of this core is between eight and 10 micrometers. The size of this fiber is much smaller than the thinnest human hair. That's how small the core of single mode fiber is. It's like a pinhole. The size of the fiber allow light to travel in a straight line, making single mode fiber ideal for long distance communication. On the other hand, multi-mode fiber has a larger core, 50 to 62.5 microns in diameter. This allow multiple light paths to travel through the fiber. Multi-mode fiber is better suited for short distances like within buildings or across campus networks. However, because the light takes multiple paths, it can cause modal 
dispersion, a phenomenon where light signals arrive at different times, especially over long distances. Fiber optics has a wide range of applications across various industries. Let's explore some of the most common uses. In telecommunication, fiber optics form the backbone of internet and phone services. In data centers, fiber optic cables enable fast data transfer between servers, allowing efficient storage and retrieval. In the medical system, endoscopes and other medical tools use fiber optics for precise, minimally invasive procedures. In the military and aerospace, fiber optics are essential for secure communication in sensitive applications. Fiber is used in sensors and monitoring systems for industries like manufacturing and energy. Now the advantages of single mode fiber is that you have a higher speed and also longer distances along with less signal loss and dispersion. Now, because you have less signal loss and dispersion, you have a higher speed and longer distance. It's because of number three that you're able to accomplish number one and two. The disadvantages are it is more expensive. Definitely single mode fiber is much more expensive than multi-mode fiber and definitely the installation process for single mode fiber is much more complex than multi-mode. With single mode fiber, the fiber has to be precisely lined up or it wouldn't work because the core is extremely small. Now the advantages of having multi-mode fiber is that it's less expensive than single mode. It's also easier to install. You don't require the skill to install multi-mode fiber like you do with single mode fiber and it's also great for short distances. The disadvantages are the speed is lower, it is not as high as single mode fiber and you get a shorter transmission distance. And the last one here is modal dispersion. This is probably one of the biggest issues with multi-mode fiber and we're going to be talking much more about this in the next video. As the demand for faster, more reliable data continues to grow, so does the need for professionals who specialize in fiber optic technology. Let's take a look at some of the careers available in this field. Fiber optic technician Install and maintain fiber optic cables and equipment. Network engineer. Design and optimize fiber optic networks. Telecommunications technician. Work with fiber optic networks for internet, phone, and TV services. Field engineer. Troubleshoot and maintain fiber optic systems in the field. Fiber optic manufacturer help produce fiber optic cables and related products. Thank you for joining me in this introduction to fiber optics. I hope you have gained a solid understanding of this fascinating technology. Be sure to continue with this course as we dive deeper into the more technical aspects of fiber optics. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as our new videos are released. This is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.